Hello, and welcome to a Tuesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to be Tuesday, November 19th, 2024 Crosswords. Go for that 62-day streak. Here's your spoiler alert for the Tuesday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Mini is always free to play. Alright, let's do it. Uh, donut holes, tea, uh, verge, angle, lab, loner, and rye. Dave or Dav Pilkey? I don't know. Like, Captain Underpants was a thing when I was a kid, but never really got into it. Protrude there. Donut holes are in fact balls, not holes. And a nice little lab here. Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Tuesday Daily Grid, which is by Eric Agard today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, let's see what Eric Agard has in store for us. Let's get into it. Auctioneer's mallet is a gavel, piece of equipment that might read Titan till click. They're set to go off. Actress Vivica A. Fox, right? Walking Dead is an AMC, I think. Alarms here. Content that causes secondhand embarrassment. It's probably cringy. Might be cringe though. Uh, steady is even. Stop holding on to is let go. Out of the ordinary is odd. Game of Thrones. Really darts. Simone Biles. Mournful songs. Dirges. Have a sleepover. Okay. Getting ready to compete. Maybe multiple levels. Maybe it's just tiered. He, him pronouns. Uh... Okay, find a way to avert disaster. Keep hope alive. Gas cap is our PSAs. Estella got her group back. Head over heels is just in love. Some band recordings. Okay, what's here? Faucet fault could be a leak. Hugh Granter. Counterparts of cones. Those are rods. IDs required when sending a letter there. Uh, shelling out. This is a drip. Idaho, I guess. Saga since 1980. Saga Sage Yoda. This is Die. I saved the day. Hedged. First name in civil rights history. Thin Wedge is a shim. Because one challenge for you to do is on a dare. Hound's tooth or herringbone. Just pattern. Sweltering is hot, don't bother with that. Who blank? Is it? Over hills is Gaga. Something dipped in a party dip. Is it Chip? Or Shashana? Like this? Two ends. Ignore it. Brittany Griner there. Martin Luther King, this is Train. Spend the night. Save the day, spend the night. Their demos, grads debris are seniors, you got it. Overlooks disrespectfully as snubs, express contempt could be sneer, haphazard. Common surname in Pakistan is Shah, so it's Helter Skelter. Sci-fi author Butler is Octavia, portions roughly equal to 17%, those are sixths. Carlos Santana. Law firm leaders are partners, shall we? Shikari Richardson here. Disc golf and escape. Nice clue there. Expressed contempt is scowled. Scoffed. Uh, type of earring is a hoop. Some banner recordings, LPs or EPs. The Little Garden of Eden. Stop being ridiculous. Those are execs. A E I O U. Vowels in a super vocalic word. Come on. Time something. Thing to ring is a mop. No prob. Time budget. Claim is a ledge. One all. And a hoagie. Alright. So we've got kind of a thin theme here today. By thin I just mean not many squares. It basically comes down to the fact that okay, I guess it comes down to three things. One is that uh you know save and spend are kind of opposites. 
day and night are opposites. Save the day and spend the night are both very common phrases. And then... Spend and save are related to budgeting. Day and night are related to times. So it's kind of like, you know, a nice observation. And of course, you know, the saving and the spending here aren't opposites because the meaning here is to be the savior rather to, than to be a saver. Um, but it's not very many squares of the material anyway. It's just 10, 10, and 13, so it's 33 squares of the material. It's very little. Then again, there's nothing really more you need. Yeah, right, what do you... How else? What else do you do in a budget other than save and spend? I guess you can invest and you can donate. So I wonder if there's another... But you, you do invest time in something, I guess. You could, you could one look it and just see what kinds of things do you invest. Not really. Invest time in. But it doesn't really work with the revealer because the revealer is time. Donate. You don't donate the... You donate blood. Yeah, so there's not really any themers possible. Um, yeah, I think you have to... So obviously, Eric Agard's very famous in Crossword Constructing World. He's also an editor at several crosswords. And you need to be that level to have the confidence to submit a 33 square theme. It's, it's, it's a nice puzzle. It's a nice theme. But I think, you know, if you're new, you might be like, is this enough theme material? That's, that's what I would think if I came up with the idea for this puzzle. I'd be like, is this enough? Maybe not. I work on something else, but I I always suspect this actually plays a little hard for a Tuesday because because there's not as much theme material. Actually, like the corners are quite a bit taller, right? Um, Shakari Richardson, hundred meter dash star. But I follow track and field, so if I didn't, that's potentially tough. As, I mean, as a long thing, that's a proper noun. Yeah, I mean, Brittany Griner, if you don't follow WNBA, again, she's an all-star. She's one of the best players in the WNBA, but proper nouns are proper nouns. Yeah. So maybe it's playing slightly hard? I don't know. J again, just because things are a little bit longer. Maybe it has a lower word count than most Tuesdays. We can take a look at those stats on XW stats. It is playing hard, but not really. It's playing average. It's really just playing average. And to be honest, 15 seconds within my average is also it's playing average for me too. But we can look, I guess we go on expert info for the stats. Most, um, yeah, 74 words. So it's a low word count. It's a low word count Tuesday. So you could expect it to play somewhat hard, but again, Eric Agard is kind of a a legend of the the new the new generation of crossword constructors. So basically, when he makes a puzzle, it's playable. More than playable, it's usually enjoyable. Anyway, let's uh, move on to some more puzzles, starting with the Telegraph Plus Word. Here's your spoiler alert for the Plus Word. There's a link in the description below. Plus Word's free to play. British mini crossword meets Wordle at the end. Let's do it. Pants. Honking birds. I guess it's geese. Ready to drop. Something that may require a double. Excess fat. And curl one slip. That's probably sneers. Sneer. There's Elton John saying Rocket Man. Probably evade. Could be elude though. Burn a bit. Could be singe. Abandon all hope ye who enter here. It's from Dante's Inferno. Uh stunt double oh gasps that kind of panting this is elude and podge i guess that's the british version of pudge it's almost gavel isn't it but it's not 
Uh, could be Gaily? Yeah. Okay, yeah, didn't know about Hodge. Like I said, I think it's just the British definition of Hodge. I mean, Podgy. Kind of cute. Probably an alteration of Pudge, is what Merriam Webster says. Anyway, let's end as we always do on the New York Times connections puzzle, where we try to make four groups of four. I actually opened it up earlier just in case. Um got too late went till tomorrow but we're okay here we go domino dryer fiddler ladybug internet horseshoe spider rent hairspray gas dalmatian comb phone hermit rollers and die so fiddler makes me think fiddler crab actually it makes me think fiddler on the roof or fiddler crab and horseshoe crabs new jersey is famous for horseshoe crabs I learned about them as a little kid. Spider crabs, hermit crabs. It looks pretty good. Now Dalmatian has spots, as does a ladybug, as does domino, as does a die. Okay, so things with spots. Okay, comb, rollers, hairspray, and dryer. Things that you use to do your hair, and then internet, gas, rent and phone are like monthly bills so i think we're gonna go with we're gonna hope that this is blank crab and that it's purple rather than types of crabs and then it ends up being blue or something but let's hope blank crab all right then i think it's the things with spots is that lateral it's somewhat lateral Okay, then their question is, which one is more lateral? Monthly bills? Whoops, that was wrong. It's this. Or... Hair products. I think it might be this one. No. It was the monthly bills. Alright, so that'll be like a 98 scale or something. We'll see what connection spot says this is very straightforward i agree could have guessed i should probably guess like the solve rate uh 98 skill here apparently this one was actually the least common first guess yeah the, the crabs were not not too hard today dot pattern objects i guess die was the hardest one to see people didn't know about Fiddler crabs. Fiddler crabs. So all of these common mistakes are mostly blue and purple. Uh, Fiddler on the roof, rent, hairspray, and 101 Dalmatians, I guess. That's the intended misdirect. This must be the intended misdirect, but they wouldn't give you the full name of the musical in some and not the full name of the musical in others, so it just can't be. But okay, this AI connection spot AI has helped me see what the intended misdirect was. I just was, I did mention 101 Dalmatians and Fiddler on the Roof, but it's not the kind of misdirect that's actually going to get me or get a big smile out of me, to be honest. I do like these pictures that they put for the reader comments. Yes, so they were, they were feet, right? Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'll see you tomorrow for some Wednesday puzzles. See you then.